So the course is shockwave in application in running rehab. So we know running injuries can be quite stubborn. 80% of running injuries are overuse. And many cases don't respond to traditional treatment. So you might have tried your load management, your rehab, hands-on treatment, and conditions like Achilles tendon, proximal hamstring, some of the medial tibial stress syndrome can be quite stubborn. So the aim of the course is to have an evidence-based outlook on how to integrate um, uh, both radial focus shockwave and also EMTT in the management of complex running injuries. And one of the areas we want to cover in detail is to take them all the way from the initial pain to all the way to performance because one of the main goals runners want is to get them back into full performance. So it's sort of uh, going through the journey from an injured runner, getting them back to running and using shockwave as an evidence-based adjunct to get them back into that full performance. So uh, because most courses look into isolation. So you have a running course, you have a shockwave course, but this is the first course in the UK which looks at uh, real practical application. I'll be using a lot of case studies, looking into all the common conditions, your plantar fasciitis, your Achilles proximal hamstring, your shin splints, uh, bone stress injury. So we try to have the whole spectrum and get them back into uh, uh, with less pain and with good performance. So one thing is uh, when you're dealing with runners is having a very specific system when dealing with them. So how do you really assess a runner with and complex overuse injury. So what are the systems used? So you'll get access to all the paperwork which I use in the clinic, you know, the running assessment form, the gait analysis form, injury specific forms. So this is something, because shockwave is never given in isolation. So how do you sort of get the, the runner from that journey? So initially is looking at the screening form. Second is having a good system of rehabilitation. So how do you uh, rehabilitate a tendon injury? A muscle injury, a bone stress injury. So we look into the sort of subcategories of rehab. And the next one is how we progress them into the strength conditioning phase. And at what stage should you add shockwave? Because you don't want to be too early or too late. So what is the right spot of getting shockwave? And finally, uh, at what stage should we get them back to running and also get analysis? So we're looking at the whole spectrum. It's just not looking at shockwave in isolation. So right from initial management to the injury management, pain, modulation, uh, uh, strength and conditioning, and return to running and gait analysis. So we're trying to incorporate the whole journey, patient journey, right from injury back to full performance. So the course is aimed for any healthcare professional who's involved in the management of running injuries. So we know that runners uh, contact a lot of professionals on the recovery. So it could be from a physiotherapist, uh, it could be an osteopath, a sports therapist, running coach. So we do get a lot of running coaches who attend our course. Uh, and also a strength and conditioning coach as well. So anyone who is having uh, you know, access to the patient along the rehab pathway or even getting them into the re uh, performance phase, um, uh, we're confident that you'll get something from the course. And because the, the number one uh, reason runners come to you is they want to get back into running and have less pain. So if you're having patients who you're struggling with, then this course is for you.